our guy, Chris Emma, who you occasionally hear doing reports for us, he's our embedded guy up in Hallis Hall, tweeted this out a couple hours ago. On the potential game-winning kick, Eddie Pinheiro said he would have preferred a center spot instead of the left hash, but didn't make excuses. Quote, I'm a professional kicker. I got to adjust. Close quote. So let me get all of this straight. The head coach trusts the kicker, even though the kicker doesn't have a resume. I'll get back to that in a second. The head coach trusts the kicker more than he trusts his offense to get more yards, which would have made the possibility of him making the kick better, would have given you better odds because he was afraid of the in infinitesimal odds that you might fumble or get a guy with a, a procedure penalty or a holding penalty. After all of that, they didn't put the ball where the kicker wanted it. What? What? Yesterday, while the show was going on, we were talking about the kick. And someone texted in and said, hey, are we sure that the ball was where Eddie wanted it? And I was like, oh, of course. Like, he clearly wanted it on the left hash because why in the world would they set him up to fail that way? That seems like a really stupid way to, to set your kicker up. If your kicker wanted the ball in the middle of the field, you had a timeout and an opportunity to do that and put it exactly where he wanted it instead of the left hash mark. Of course the head coach knows his kicker, right? Right. That wasn't discussed. With the play clock running down on on your on your running the clock out and a timeout. It wasn't no well, after the timeout, you can't do anything about it. But leading up to the timeout, Eddie, where would you like the ball? I like the ball in the center. Oh, okay. Then we'll kneel down. We'll have Mitch move over to his right a few steps and kneel down. That, or, or that even wasn't let discussed. Your guy know. Like have tell Chris Tabor, Chris Tabor relays it. Yeah, Chris Tabor. Yet again. Your man's. I've been trying to tell y'all. I've been trying to tell you. But how like the levels with which this football team is not clicking on all cylinders. He's amaze balls, man. After all of that, after everything that happened yesterday at Hallis Hall, where Mark Potash is desperately trying to explain math to Matt Nagy. After all of that, after I do it a thousand times, you didn't take into account that the kicker wanted the ball in another place. Now, granted, look, I can see your fingers on your phone right now. You're saying right now, Lawrence, he's got to make the kick. You're 100% right. And you're probably also saying kickers should be seen and not heard. And you're probably right about that too. But, but when the coach tells you that he's got ultimate trust in the kicker, you would think that the coach would then go to the kicker and say, hey, man, I got ultimate trust in you. Where would you like the ball so we can make this as easy as possible for you? Are we two or three weeks away from Matt Nagy just walking into a press conference and pulling out the toolbox of concepts? Well, I'm I'm guessing that he's going to grow the man soon because you got to grow the man. Yeah, that's first. Grow the man, then the toolbox comes out. Then the toolbox of con He's already told you about his toolbox of concepts. It just, it seems like everything is going wrong. Like the whole thing. The amount of time yesterday that Matt Nagy was pointing to people saying, did you watch the Indianapolis Colts game? No, I was covering your game. The game that your team played in. I was covering that. I was watching your game. And then I was in the locker room talking to people about your game. And then I was listening to you talk about your game. So no, I didn't get around to watching the Colts game because I don't cover the Colts for a living. And after all of that, you have Frank Reich go, yeah, we ran the ball a couple times before we put it on the foot. 
of Adam Vinatieri. We actually ran some plays. It's a lot. Tony, I get it. Your host is in a mood today, and I apologize for that. But some of this stuff doesn't make sense. It does, It just it boggles the mind. How, after all of that, after everything that you've gone through with kickers in the last 10 months, do you not consult the kicker? Who, by the way, if you were watching in the fourth quarter yesterday, he went out to the field at one point, took some grass, threw it up in the air because he wasn't quite sure of what was going on with the wind conditions. Now that we've seen this this year, doesn't that make last year look even more incredible that these little things didn't matter more? It's amazing. 